population growth is influenced by many different factors, but to begin the discussion, let's first focus on the variables that affect the rate of growth. So these are the birth rate, the death rate, and the immigration and emigration rate. So these should sound familiar because they're pretty much the same thing as those factors that determine population size. But the difference is that these, in population size, we're dealing with the number of births, deaths, and the amount of immigration, emigration, whereas in population growth, we deal with the rate of birth, death, immigration, and emigration. So if a population's rate of birth is greater than the rate of death and the immigration is greater than the rate of emigration, the population will grow, and if the reverse is true, the population will shrink. So most populations grow. And the simplest model for population growth is a model that looks something like this. You start somewhere down here, and you first have a slow rate of growth, but you get faster and faster. And this model, you see a population grows at an increasing rate with no limitations. This is called exponential growth. The human population has been undergoing exponential growth for the past 300 years. Populations cannot keep on growing at an exponential rate forever because growth is closely linked with the resources available to a population. So if resources are limited, growth is eventually limited. So every environment has a set amount of resources that determines the maximum number of individuals it can sustain. And it's usually represented on a graph like this as a dotted line. And this is called the carrying capacity of the environment. And it's represented usually by a K. So as a population continues to grow, it will begin to slow down. And then it plateaus at this carrying capacity. Obviously, it's not exactly flat. Like, it'll go up and down around this carrying capacity in fluctuations. But in general, it will stay around this vicinity of the carrying capacity. We'll learn a little more about what determines the carrying capacity in a different video. But this new model, in its S shape, is called logistic growth, and it is the simplified growth pattern of most populations.